So, I have been issued a challenge to recreate a Babs Beauty look done with the drum roll, drum roll, Jaclyn Hill palette. This is a look I created. If you want to just look over at the Babs Beauty tutorial and see how I did, that's linked in the description. But if you would like to see my take on how to recreate this look, go ahead and keep watching. Um, I was challenged in a group I'm in on Facebook called The Beauty Ship. It's an amazing group. I'll link it down below as well. Uh, we all got to pick like what color scheme we wanted and how hard we wanted our look to be. So I said a medium difficulty look with my Jaclyn Hill palette and this is what we came up with. I am missing the glitter in the corners. I know it's not even the same look without it but I don't have glitter or glitter glue and I don't live in a town where I can access that. So this is what we got. I'm really digging this. It is very out there, smoky, pretty orange. I like it. Um, this actually may be a look that I use pretty often. So let me know what y'all think. Be sure to hit that button and subscribe down below and uh, keep watching and see how it turns out. Okay, so I've already got my face makeup prep, my eyebrows done, and my powder here to catch any fallout. So I'm going to go about this look exactly how Babs Beauty did because this is what I've been challenged to do. And this is my first time diving into this palette, so I'm super excited. So first we're supposed to take this nude shade right here, kind of a tan and get it on a blending brush and just put it all over the lid and in the crease and it's supposed to be kind of messy. This is just your base so it gets to go everywhere. So we're gonna do that first on one eye and I'm so hoping I can remember the steps she took. Usually I just kind of come in with a palette and play it by ear. I'm not so good at remembering steps. So here is to hoping that I can pull this off. Okay, and this is super pigmented. The colors are picking up great. Like I barely swirled it around and Okay, so the next thing she did was take this shimmer shade, the second one right here, and put it in her brow bone. That way she didn't go too crazy. And I'm just going to take it on a flat brush and just pop that up here. Ooh, it's very shiny. And apologies for all the flashback from this powder. But I have heard that there is some fallout from this palette, so I didn't want to make a big old mess with no way to clean it up. So there's that in my brow bone. <clears throat> okay, now this is where I may mess up a little bit. Go into this shade right here. It's this matte shade. It's kind of orangey color. And if I understood this right supposed to blow this out just like I did with the last color maybe just a teeny bit lower and get it all over the lid and just all over the place so let's see how well this works it is so pretty though like even if my technique doesn't go well this is so pretty okay Let's see. I can't really see what I'm doing on this eye because my hand's in the way when I look in my mirror. So, hope for the best, I suppose. Try to get this up a little bit higher so that it'll actually show. Okay. And there is some fallout from this palette. I don't think it's horrible. I mean, it has fallout, but for the pigmentation, I'll take it. Okay, then I'm going to go in with this one and try to keep 
this one and more my outer edge and my crease as opposed to going crazy with it. So over here, keep it down a little lower. And just bring it over here. <laughs> I've been forgetting a step this whole video. Look at me go. I'll go back and do it with a different brush in a minute, but I forgot to do my lower lash line. <clears throat> okay. So the last step is to take this color right here, this dark chocolate, and put it like just in the corner and make sure that it's not too heavy. Like you want to blend it in and kind of smoke it out, but not, not anything crazy. That would be bad. So when you go in with dark colors like these, you have to be kind of gentle, which I mean, looking at this entire look, obviously you don't have to be too gentle, but you gotta be a little bit gentle or you'll end up looking a little cray. So we're just gonna put it in this outer corner and then fluff it around. And this just kinda adds like a different dimension almost to this. Like it just gives it that super dramatic look. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go with a different blending brush and I'm going to pick up all those colors in order and just sweep them on my lower lash line because I totally spazzed and I forgot to do that. So I'm just going to pick them up on the tip of this brush and sweep them down here one by one. So that was the tan color. This is going to be the first orange. And you can kind of see how it builds the intensity up every time you add a color. And this is going to be that maroon. And I think what I'm going to do is take a teeny bit of this brown on this flat brush and kind of bring it in, but I don't want to risk going crazy with that, so I'm not doing it on a fluffy brush. Okay, and then I'm going to blend it together. And then we're just going to go in here and blend and be sure nothing is too harsh. Nothing's too crazy. And another thing she does that I, I can't do, I don't have the stuff to do it, is that she puts a gold glitter like right here. So since I can't do that because I don't have gold glitter and I don't have glitter glue, I'm just going to take this gold out of the palette right here and I'm going to get it on my brush and go in without Fix Plus and see how this works. Oh, it's actually really pretty. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that a little wider in the inner corner since I don't have the glitter to finish it off quite the way she did. Okay, so this is the eye look. I'm gonna go ahead while y'all are on here and brush off all this excess junk down here. Okay, now I'm gonna hop off here. I'm gonna put a thin, thin line of eyeliner, some, <sighs> some mascara, and hopefully some fake lashes if I can get them to stick today. And then I'm just going to try to get a similar lip color to what she used in her video. And I'll be right back, guys. Hey, everybody. So this is going to be the final look. Um, I just added a line of 
me find it. Guess it, guess it. Steal an eyeliner, like I always do. Um, put on some roller lash on these bottom lashes, and it is amazing today, and a little bit on the top. And then I just put on what I think are some Ardell natural lashes. Yes, I know my lash game is still not where it needs to be, but they will stick now, and that is a huge improvement. <clears throat> Then I added some Jeffree Star Skin Frost and Princess Cut. This one is not nearly as hyped as it should be. It is a gorgeous, like, light pink. By the way, these are huge. Just saying, if you don't buy Jeffree Star because you have some kind of issue with him, I love him and I always will. I have since I was probably 13 back in his MySpace days. But these are amazing. Like, they're the biggest highlighters you'll ever find, I think. But I put that on and it is super blinding. And then for my lips, I did ColourPop. And this is a matte lip. It's Times Square with this Steve Laurent that I got out of a Lip Monthly bag. And this is in Ballerina to try to get that kind of glossy look that she had. Didn't quite get it how I wanted to, but close enough, I'll take it. Um, so this is going to be my look. This is my first time playing with my Jaclyn Hill palette. And y'all, if you haven't got it yet, if there's a 4-3 stock, and I'm sure there will be, get it. Just, just do it. Like, you're going to love it so much. You have no idea until you get your hands on it. So, just to show my baby again that's already dirty now, this was all done with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And it's wonderful. And uh, so this is the final look again. Be sure that if you haven't already, you subscribe to my channel. Buttons right there. Picture over here, I think. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. Subscribe to subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I upload. I'm trying my darndest to upload Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, I did do last Saturday, I did my cotton candy. Tuesday I had my lip plumper and I'm thinking that right now this is Thursday. I'm actually filming this on Saturday, so I think this is Thursday. <laughs> Don't hold me to it. But uh, I hope you all have an amazing day and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks you guys.